we should do something fun. Listen, easy. <laughs> There's blood and gore everywhere. This is going to be raw and they're going to try things. Yeah, that's dark. It's mm. dark. Cue the spooky music. There have always been witches in the world. Blood witches and fairborn witches. I'm not a blood witch. Then what are you, Nathan? I don't know. Nathan Byrne his whole life hasn't known who he really is. All he knows is that people are scared of what he might become. The interesting idea was that you have these two groups of people. You have these fairborn witches and these blood witches, and you've got this one character who's a little bit of both. Before the end of the year, you'll turn 17 and you'll get your power. You could just be another normal fairborn witch. Or you could inherit something far darker. His dad is a, a serial killer, if anything. He's killed many people. The blood witch in him is violence and rage and impulse and rebellion. I'm going to train you to fight your father. I don't expect, if you ever meet him, that my training will keep you alive for very long. Celia really believes a tough love will give him the best chance of survival. <gasps> Do it again. I think there is definitely like a, a sibling kind of a relationship there as well. Stop looking at me. <laughs> the reason he is alive is because there's a prophecy. His own blood will kill the wolf. I'm supposed to kill my father. Excuse me, you're a fucking wife? That's why he is on the journey. Annalise found a real alliance with Nathan because they knew what it felt like to be completely misunderstood. I'm not supposed to talk to you. Who says? My dad. He's in the council. She's incredibly brave. She's willing to go on this journey with Nathan and find out the truth. I've been expecting us. Oh, I've been expecting him. No one said anything about um, whatever this is. Gabriel is a blood witch. He's kind of hedonistic. He doesn't like to take things seriously in general in life. Annalise has never met a blood witch before, and she's very skeptical of this dude who's got like lotions and potions galore. Mm. He's in his pants. That's not something that happens in a fairborn household. <laughs> My character just judges you in mm. five seconds. When do we leave? Uh, darling, um, I was told to bring one witch, and Mercury is not the sort of person you want to surprise with and announce guests. I don't care what kind of person Mercury is. Darling. But then after, I can mm. understand you and see where your weakness are and then... Uh... Sorry, where are my weaknesses? I don't think I have any. <laughs> oh. oh, darling. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you running from? Fairborn Council. Find out where they are. Jessica is Nathan's half-sister. She hates blood witches, so she kind of despises Nathan, basically, because of who he is. Wouldn't you rather die than be a blood witch? She goes off to join the Hunters, who are a kind of elite group of fairborn fighters who track down and kill blood witches. Soul's motivation is to make a strong, fearsome unit that can uh, keep the bloods at bay, really. And I think he, he sees great potential in Jessica. Oh, that's very nice. You better say something nice. <laughs> the cast has been so brilliant. It's just been so fun. Everyone just had amazing vibes, and me and Nadia, we were just dancing about, and I just knew straight away that it was going to be a very collaborative and fun experience. What are your weaknesses? <laughs> this woman, I can be in a sad mood, I can be in a serious mood, and she will make me smile or laugh or make me feel very grateful. It's been a blast. Yeah. <laughs> Bad acts. The day we found the most rewarding was, yeah, the first meeting between our character and because the scene is so fun. Mm. There's like so many things, there is action, there is like, yeah, stunts. Because it's a massive sequence from the moment we enter the apartment to the moment we jump out the window. <laughs> it was just the first moment where I just remember being like, we're on this journey Definitely. together and I'm so glad I got these two boys right next to me for it. He'll wipe out our kind until there's nothing left. It's a show about identity. It's teenagers trying to work out who they really are. But, Fairborn, you are not your father. There's a lot of really scary moments. Pretty fun action. It's so exciting. There's really embarrassing moments, vulnerable moments. The characters that you met at the start are totally different to the characters that you meet at the end. Oh,